Hello everyone, my name is Jay Parimiti. Uh, today I'll be talking about credentials in Power Automate. In this presentation, I'll provide an overview of credentials in Power Automate, a new feature that allows for the management of login credentials using Azure Key Vault. This presentation will cover the introduction, overview, and usage scenarios of credentials in Power Automate, emphasizing its role in streamlining RPA operations and supporting enterprise security policies. Let's jump right into the presentation. OK, as part of the agenda, we'll be delving into the concept of credentials in Power Automate, um, understanding how they work. And finally, I'll showcase the demo. OK, in Power Automate Desktop, uh, triggering um, desktop flows from cloud flows um, in order to run unattended or attended automations, either on a machine, host machine, or a host machine group, or even a hosted machine group requires a desktop flow connection, right? Until now, um, the option of connecting with username and password required you to provide a username and password. But however, the introduction of credentials in Power Automate now allows the creation, editing, and sharing of login credentials using um, Azure Key Wallet. This cool feature eliminates the need to manually update desktop flow connections when passwords are changed. Thus, um, streamlining your RPA operations and adhering to your enterprise security policies. As you can see on the right, um, the ability to provide credentials is actually shown on the desktop flows uh, connectivity from a cloud flow. Next, we'll talk about um, what is a credentials in what are credentials in Power Automate. Credentials um, are essentially managed through two types of environment variables, a username, um, a, which is a text environment variable, and a password, which is referring to a secret environment variable. Um, that secret environment variable points to or refers to a secret in a Azure Key Vault. So the combination of a username and password makes up a credential. Let's see in how it actually appears in Power Automate and Power, Power, Power Platform. Um, so when you go ahead and create an M1 variable of type text, and you can provide the credential username um, as a display name uh, of data type uh, as the text. Here, you can provide the username for the machine or the host machine or the machine group, whatever the computing uh, resource that you are providing this credential for. And then comes the password, which is a, once again, an amount variable of type secret. Um, but the secret store in this case is the Azure Key Vault. Um, as part of the configuration for the um, Azure Key Vault key store, you are required to provide the Azure subscription ID, the resource group under which the Azure Key Vault is allocating, and the secret name. So this is where the connectivity of the secret in Azure Key Vault um, refers back to the secret in one variable. All right, let's see how it actually looks and how you can actually use this credential within the desktop flow connection. As part of creating the desktop flow connection um, within a cloud flow, um, you provide you have the option to connect with username and password and select the machine. Once you select the machine, today, um, you are required to provide a username along with the password. But as you can notice here, this new feature of credentials allows you to switch to credential option where you provide the just new, newly created credential, which is nothing but the username and password um, supported by the Azure Key Vault. This change allows you to um, do a lot of cool things for the desktop flow connections. All right, why do you care about this? Um, some of the benefits uh, that I'm going to illustrate here for credentials um, are very, very much um, hard benefits, uh, meaning that um, by using credentials, um, it's very helpful um, to streamline your RPA operations related to machine management, um, thereby supporting your enterprise security policies around password location. And this has been a, a great uh, feature. Uh, that will eliminate the need to manually updating uh, the desktop flow connections when a password is changed. 
um, obviously takes away the manual intervention. Not only takes away that, but also um, helps um, automations to run um, even when the underlying password for the machines, uh, the computing um, resources are changed um, with automated notifications. So how this uh, plays out is when a password or a secret in this case is changed in Azure Key Vault, um, there is a custom Cloudflow that needs to be created, um, which will be notified of this secret change or password change through a, an Azure even Grid notification. And that um, will help us to um, invoke um, the secret environment update through a Dataverse unbound action uh, within the Power Platform. Let's see how that actually um, looks. So when a password is changed, um, like I said before, um, an Azure Grid event notification um, is um, sent out um, because we are creating this Cloudflow with that trigger. Um, if we provide the subscription um, for the resource, um, for the Azure Key Vault resource, and we provide the event type of um, Microsoft Key Vault that secret new version created. So this particular Cloudflow will listen in for that event. When that event happens, we perform an unborn action, which is to notify the environment variable of the secret um, changing. So this is the, the secret sauce behind how you can actually um, get the password rotation, rotation notifications or changes um, to be trickled into Power Platform. All right, let's jump into a quick demo on how this works. Um, like I said before, credential is made up of two components. One is the username, a text environment variable, and a password, a secret environment variable. And within your automation solution, you have Cloudflow and you create a desktop flow connection with credentials um, that is uh, referring or invoking a desktop flow that will run on a host machine group. So in this, the, the scenario that I'm showcasing as part of the demo uh, will leverage this um, um, topology. All right. So once again, uh, I'm actually walking over in terms of when a password gets rotated, um, we talked about the Cloudflow and um, the credential uh, change notification that is uh, spit out from the um, Azure Key Vault into the event grid. Um, when, a, when, when, when an admin or somebody changes the secret, the first event that gets triggered is the, is the event that will be captured by the event grid. Um, because we are subscribing uh, through this secret rotation notification Cloudflow solution, um, that event um, will trigger this Cloudflow. And once that gets triggered, um, the, the Dataverse unbound action will notify of that secret change. So it is um, directly, there is a uh, direct invocation of all this happening uh, without any manual intervention, right? So the desktop flow machine, um, the desktop flow uh, credentials don't need to be updated and it is all taken care of um, by the underlying service. Let's see how we can actually get into the live demo aspect of it. All right, let's go to make.powerautomate.com. Once you're at make.powerautomate.com, you can go to um, discover all. Once you are in there, you will see that there is a credential option now. Um, once you click on it, it will take you to this credential page. Credentials, you can create a new credential um, by creating the new credential aspect of it and providing the credential name, um, the description of the credential, and the username. And like we talked about before, uh, the username is a text and memory variable. And similarly, password is nothing but a, a secret um, and moment variable. Um, once you hit create, you will see this um, option of um, a credential being created. Um, you can edit it. Um, you can provide uh, the description, updated description if you choose to, and then you can delete or share this credential. Let's get into the uh, environment variable aspect of it and how this credential will, will look like. All right, so a simple credential username, um, as you can see, uh, once you create it, it will, you can provide the value of your um, computes um, username. And similarly for the credential password, um, you can see that it has the display name of credential password in the description and the data type is secret and providing the, the underlying Azure Key Vault as the secret store. For the um, uh, secret uh, store uh, for the Azure Key Vault, um, we need to provide the Azure subscription ID, the resource group, 
under which the Azure Key Vault is located and the secret name. By providing all this information, we are referring the underlying uh, Azure Key Vault's uh, secret to this uh, secret amount variable. All right, so that covers the creation of the credential where we talked about the username and the password. Let's see how we can actually use this in a um, in a in a desktop flow connection. So let's come to here. Um, in this uh, Cloudflow, what we are trying to do is invoke a, a desktop flow. Um, I have selected the option of connecting with username and password, and I will select a a host machine group in this case, um, like I mentioned in the demo. Um, now, uh, now we have two options. Um, in the current option, we have the providing the username and password, which is the um, which is the current mechanism. But as you can see here, you now have the option to provide a credential. Once you click on that um, icon, it will change it to providing the Windows credential. Here, we can select the credential that we just created as part of that and hit create and a desktop for connection um, will be created for this. I've already done that. And as you can see here, you this particular um, desktop flow um, leverages this um, desktop flow connection with credentials. Once I hit run, uh, this should be able to run um, for this Cloudflow, uh, which is referring the desktop flow connection with security um, credentials. It is going to run on the host machine group. And say done. Okay, after we invoke the running of the Cloudflow, um, Let's come back to the mission groups. Um, here is the mission group that I have created. Um, and as you can see, um, my invocation of the Cloudflow has triggered. And a, I'll go back, going to the run queue, um, I see that um, my desktop flow has been queued um, to be running. OK, after the desktop flow is provisioned to run, we see that the desktop flow is running. And once you go to the desktop flow run and push this. So you see that the desktop flow is running. Um, so now what we will do is we will change the um, password, meaning that we'll rotate the secret um, and then we'll see how that will affect this desktop flow run. Um, before I do that, just wanna make sure that you can see um, how the desktop flow is getting executed. Okay, so after a um, few seconds, um, we were able to see that the execution of the desktop flow was completed successfully. Um, and let's go back and see how we can actually um, see the demonstration of um, secret rotation. So let's jump into the secret in the Azure portal. Okay, here's my um, Azure Key Vault and I am in the secret section. I will create a new version. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to mimic the secret rotation. So I'm gonna put a random secret here. Um, and then do it. Um, so what this will affect is that, um, as I mentioned in the, in the preview, um, that is listening on the secret change, right? Um, so this is where um, by creating that um, new secret, we could see that this flow uh, got triggered uh, just now. And updated, as you can see, uh, we could see the response, um, the incoming trigger, and, and how we're able to update, notify the secret change for the M1 variable. All right, so let's go back and try to run the same flow um, as we have run and see how will it how it will affect um, how it will affect the okay let's go ahead and run this so we haven't updated anything right so it's all automatic at this point um, so now I run um, the expectation of this run is that it will fail because we have updated the password to we have rotated the password to an incorrect value right um, of the hosted machine group. Um, so the expectation is that this run will fail because it won't be able to connect to uh, the underlying hosted machine. Okay. Okay. So as expected, the the instance of uh, this Cloudflow run um, ended up being failed. 
um, let's see what the error is. So come here and we see that you know, it is a um, the connection error. Obviously, the username um, that entry login is invalid because we have rotated the secret to a, a different value than the hosting machine groups um, secret. So this shows that um, the effect of um, a, a secret um, within the error key vault impacting the desktop flow connection um, without any manual intervention. So let's go back and try to correct the problem and create a new version with the right secret value and see how this one will take effect. So I just created this and let's go see if we have the um, we have the um, the cloud flow that is triggering based off of the Azure Key Vault. So yeah, so it's just triggered um, 16 seconds ago. So now that means that our environment variable has changed. And now um, if we we try to run the flow again um, without touching the desktop flow connection or anything, um, it should run successfully because we have updated it to the correct password uh, for the hosting machine group. Okay, let's see how this one is going to run up within our machine groups, host machine group. All right, so now you can see that this is in the run state and it looks like it's successfully run. There you go. I was able to complete, I was able to connect to the machine group. Um, so as you can see here, um, we demonstrated how updating the um, secret within the Azure Key Vault affected the stuff flow connections in manual intervention. All right, in summary, um, credentials in Power Automate um, offer a valuable capability for organizations to effectively manage RPA automations and um, the desktop flow connections um, to the machines and the machine groups, um, which will help adhere to your enterprise security policies, particularly um, your password rotation policies. Um, I believe that this feature significantly aids in deploying uh, automation solutions across different environments with uh, minimal friction from development to um, production or elevated environments. Um, by streamlining these processes, um, credentials in Power Automate contribute to um, enhanced operational efficiency and security compliance uh, within organizations. With that, I'd like to thank you for your interest and time to learn more about uh, credentials in Power Automate. Until next time, happy automating. Thank you.